Hi everyone, my name is Tim Brown, and today I'm going to show you how you can partition a USB drive on your Mac. Um, obviously, you would need a USB drive, and you would need a blank USB drive because you need to erase or format the drive. So um, that's the most important thing to remember when starting out. So you take your USB drive, plug it into your computer. Uh, you're going to need to bring up an application that you have on your Mac. It's called Disk Utility. You can do so by just hitting the command space bar and just typing in disk utility, hit return, and the application should open. When the application opens, you will see the USB drive on the left-hand side. You want to make sure that is selected and not your hard drive. Now, the first thing you're going to do is format the drive. But before you do that, I want to show you something. On the top left where it says disk utility, there's a menu there. Um, and there are a couple options there. One option will be show only volumes, and the other one option will be show all devices. If you have show only volumes, you will see that your, your uh, USB drive menu option is limited. You just have one option. And as a result, when you go to click erase, which is what we're going to do in a moment, you will have options to format your drive, but you will not have an option to set up a partition because it's not recognizing that option because you only have volume selected and not all devices. You need all devices to be select it in order to partition the drive. So that's really important. So what you're going to do is make sure that the bottom option is selected, show all devices. And now you can see that in addition <clears throat> to the volume, I also have partition. So uh, that's very important to remember. Next, what you want to do is format the drive. Uh, so the way you do that in Disk Utility is you just select Erase. And then you, you can name it. Um, uh, in this case, I'll just call this Partition 1. And you're going to select the option Mac OS Extended Journaled. And at the bottom where it says Scheme, if you're going to set up a partition, you want to make sure you select the option GUID Partition Map. Go ahead and select that. And then you're ready to erase. So just go ahead and just press Erase. And this will go ahead and format your drive. It usually doesn't take a very long time. Um, but what this is doing is not only is it formatting your drive, it is also allowing you to set up additional partitions. So when, it's, when you're ready, just click Done. When you are done, you will see that there is an option now to partition the drive. So you select that option, Partition, and it basically looks like a pie chart. And right now, you just have one big slice of pie, um, which represents all the space that's available in your drive. And you can see here my size is you know, 61.53 gigabytes. Um, I want to divide this into two partitions, and it's really easy to do on the Mac. You'll see there's a plus symbol at the bottom of the, the pie chart here. You just go ahead and press that plus symbol. You see that it now creates a, an additional partition. And that new partition is now entitled Untitled, right? So you maybe want to go ahead and give that a name. So I'll just go ahead and just call this Partition 2. And by default, it has created 30.6 uh, gigabytes of space, which is kind of evenly dividing the, the, <clears throat> the USB drive, which is fine. I mean, I'm, that's perfectly fine for me. Um, I typically go back and forth between two workplaces, so I like to have some important files on one partition at one job and, and the other partition for the other job. So um, obviously you can use a partition however you want to use it. Um, you're all set up, right? So after you give your second partition a name, you just click apply and then select partition. Uh, and this will take a while, but basically what this will do is create that additional partition. And, and when you're done, you're going to see the option now to select two partitions. So if I go into, I'm going to click done. And as you can see, is below the sand disk on the left hand side, I have partition one and I have partition two. And now you have an option to store your files on two different types of partitions. It's really that easy. And you would do the same thing on your hard drive. Um, I wouldn't do that on my hard drive now because I don't have enough space to do that. Um, but the same process would uh, happen if you were partitioning your hard drive. Um, you can do the same thing on a PC, of course, but you would use a different file format. You would use NF <coughs> NTFS. 
um, and you would also use disk management as a utility for formatting your disk. But they're basically the same process. I hope this was useful. Um, partitioning a USB drive could be very handy. Anyway, my name is Tim Brown. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, please subscribe or like the video if you thought this was helpful. See you next time.